on the tunes and crank up the volume. It's a musical road trip that's totally awesome. Ed and Johnny get a dressing down. Chris is and John's clowning around. And fancy that, Victoria goes to town. Susan becomes an historical fop. Ben's umbrella dances over the top. And Naomi plays mop hero non-stop. So sit back and enjoy our exclusive playlist with a song from the team that's not to be missed. on all over the place. Ed and Chris had to show a special guest around Krakow. Maybe it's a film star. Ooh, or a football player. Or a supermodel. Ooh. But it was Dodge. Yeah, all right, fellas. They saw some stuff. It doesn't even look much like a castle. They met a real-life fire-breathing dragon. <coughs> no, not that one. This one. <laughs> They went to get food in the pierogi shop. The babogi shop? Huh? No, pierogi. Before Ed and Chris lost Dodge. Dodge! What are they going to do? What are we going to do? That, that, that was my lane. Dodge! Dodge! Oh, it could be anywhere. Oh, Chris, have you found anything? I have, actually, yeah. Apparently the tram system was founded in Krakow in 1882, but originally they were pulled by horses. No, I mean, found out anything about where Dodge went? Oh, that! No, not a thing. However, we don't have to run around doing it. We could just get a tram, make it easier. Chris, there's 27 tram lines in Krakow. It could take years. Ed, look. Dodge! Dodge! Quick! Follow that tram! Which is a bit like the tram Victoria and I went on in Lisbon in Portugal. Although we weren't chasing a talking dog. Wait for me! <laughs> These trams are ice cool, cos like us, they're old school. Been travelling round Lisbon since 1914. They start in the outskirts and take you into the city. Looking good, made of yellow wood, they sure do look real quick. And check this nice tram, they're known as Electrico. Check this nice tram, they run at 50 minute intervals. And check this nice tram, up and down these cobbled streets. Check this nice tram, the view's a real tourist treat. Tell you what we're gonna do, yeah. Ooh. Buy a ticket just for two, yeah. Ooh. Cause uptown trains don't do it for me. A downtown bus don't do it for me. For a funky ride, just step inside. Don't believe me, hop on. There's 38. Hop on and off, it's a circular route. See the houses on Grass a Hill and the Tagus River to boot. Ride past Sao Bento Palace, stop at Cafe 28. Take a peek at the 25th April Bridge, twin to San Francisco's Golden Gate. And check this, nice tram. They all run on electric power. Check this, nice tram. Top speeds 50 kilometers an hour. Check this, nice tram. They run from early in the morning till late. Check this, nice tram. We're gonna do, yeah. Ooh. Buy a ticket just for two, yeah. Ooh. Cause uptown trains don't do it for me. A downtown bus don't do it for me. For a funky ride, just step inside. Don't believe me, hop on. Come on! Tram 28 is a one. Don't believe me, hop on. Come on, jump on it. Six euros a ticket, you got it. Come on, jump on it. Did you bring some cash? Oh, I forgot it. Before we get thrown off, let me tell you all a little something. Lisbon's funky tram, Lisbon's funky tram. Lisbon's funky tram, Lisbon's funky tram. I said Lisbon's funky tram, Lisbon's funky tram.
and he hates the one. Shame they won't let us on. Mate, where have you been? Oh. We're looking all over for you. Well, while you were stuffing your faces, I've been talking to a very informative cockapoodle about this. Guess the town hall tower. Hang on, I thought we were giving you the guided tour. Yeah, well, I'm taking over, Petrie, so pay attention. <clears throat> the tower is now all the remains of the town hall that once stood here. In 1820, they knocked most of it down with a bish bash bosh wallop. And that concludes the tour. Oh, very good. Yeah. Of course, you know what would have saved that town hall? Elves! You what? In Iceland, you can't knock stuff down or even move rocks without checking with the elves first. We're not making it up, mate. We did a song and everything. One of us brought our elf costume, whereas the other brought an Elvis costume, if I recall. Oh, yeah. Wish I'd mentioned it now. Hey? Hello. We're in Havnafjordur, known as the elf capital of Iceland. Why? Because according to Icelandic folklore, within these hills and rocks, there lies the hidden people. Come on, Ed. Ready to go looking for some elves? I sure am. <laughs> elves. Ed, we're looking for elves. Yeah? I knew that. Really? You thought we were looking for Elvis, didn't you? Whatever gave you that idea? Call it a sixth sense. Looking for elves and it ain't no joke In Icelandic, some get called Holdu folk Ignore that I'm dressed as this Elvis bloke Come on, let's search for the hidden folk Icelanders believe these folk exist And their claims can't easily be dismissed They won't move rocks, they think they're elf homes The fear of upsetting these sprites and no an elf rock Can't move an elf rock The road building has to stop Cause you can't move an elf rock Hope of a door is an elf hot spot I wonder if we'll find any here or not The street is named Elf Hill Road The story of this place needs to be told Builders tried to level this hill But it seems the elves were living there still When they tried to build a road to the town The machinery kept breaking down Elf rock Can't move an elf rock Heap of trouble. So when it came to moving the self church, they didn't want to be left in the lurch. So the road builders used a local steer to make a pact with the elves, put them in the clear. They carefully split the stone in two and moved it over a meal or two. Because the elves were well prepared, there was no need for people to be scared. Church rock, they moved the church rock. Carried it into blocks and moved the elf church rock. Apparently, there are 13 different types of elves. Yeah, and not one of them looks like Elvis. Elf rock can't move an elf rock. Road building has to stop because you can't move an elf rock. Thank you very much. Those Icelanders, it's elf and safety gone mad. Yeah, well, mess with the elves, mate. You can find yourself in some serious hot water. Yeah. You want thrills? You want to play? Then you're in the right place today. Welcome to Slovakia, the Aquapark Tatralandia. Water park in the Liptov region, open for business in all four seasons. 14 pools and 26 slides, punters come from far and wide. Surely in winter it has to close, that time of the year you need to wear more clothes. Truth is the attraction here is eternal, the water they use for the slides is dormant. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. It's warm but how, but how, but how? Well listen up, I'll tell you now. This is 
the boomerang raft. Fancy a go? Do I look that daft? Incredibly steep with a cool U ramp. It's not for me, I don't like to get damp. What about this? The trio ride. A covered tube like being inside. Ride the water on a big inflatable. Not for me, mate. I'll see you later, but... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jump on, jump on, jump on, jump on. Suppose I have got my trunks on. Slovakia's steepest slide, experience a gravity free state. You know what? I'm all right, mate. To go on this, you need real conviction. Oh, look, salad is a height restriction. You're easily taller than one meter forty. Get off your knees and stop being naughty. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Not sure I can, I can, I can. Do I have to? That was the plan. Then Dodge. Brilliant as you were as a tour guide, we're supposed to be showing you round this city. So let us be introduce you to Cloth Hall. Cloth Hall? Well, I mean, if it's made of cloth, then what happens when it rains? Doesn't it get all soggy and that? No, no, no. It's called Cloth Hall because in the 15th century, this is where traders came to buy cloth. It's said to be the world's oldest shopping centre. You could buy spices from the Middle East. You could buy salt from the salt mines. So where did they get their pepper from? Hmm? What? Yeah, and what about that ketchup? Or the brown sauce? Or the mustard? Yeah, where would you get them from, eh? Yeah. Eh, eh? This is a world-famous building. It's got a gallery inside that houses some of Poland's most important paintings. So you can't buy salt and pepper, but you can buy salt and paintings. Oh, who'd have that on their chips? Yeah, Ooh. probably. You know who did appreciate fine things? Who? Ben. We went to France to check out the Impressionist painters. What, painters who do impressions? No. We've come to Arles in the south of France to once again demonstrate our talent as impressionists, or should we say, post-impressionists, because two of the greatest artists of all time once graced these streets. Vincent van Gogh and Paul Gauguin. Yes, and not only were these legends great artists, they were also great friends. friends. Bonjour, welcome to all I am Vincent van Gogh. I'm famous for my paintings and chopping my ear off. I am Paul Gauguin and I'm an artist too Vincent persuaded me coming here was what I should do I'll be there in all As the skies brighten and clear Because of the mistral It blows throughout the year Such nice weather so I'll Hang around and paint here And so for nine weeks back in 1888 Stayed in the yellow house Oh, we were such great mates I painted scenes you can still see today And I painted a painting of him painting Not bad, eh? Painting here in our Cafe Terrace at night Painting here in our By the rose starry For the worst scenes that we fell out No one is really sure what it was all about Whatever happened, it caused me to flee And I was left with a self-inflicted injury Painting here in art Seemed like a good idea painting whilst I was alive Being an artist it was tricky to survive The 
that since my death the prices have gone up a bit. Six of them have sold for more than 30 million quid. Painting here in art. Here we are at the Collegium Maius, part of Krakow University. Uh, what are you doing, Chris? I'm looking for a big ant. Why? Well, you said people could only come here if they had massive insects. No, Chris. He said massive intellect. Ugh. Brains, Chris. This is one of the oldest universities in Europe. Oh, I did think the insect thing was a bit weird. So, anybody famous come here, then? Uh, Pope John Paul II, he studied here, and someone whose statue we're going to see next. Oh, whose is it? Oh, I love guessing games. <laughs> OK. Uh, well, he studied here in the 15th century, and he was a massive star. Was he in a boy band? Has he done Strictly? Did he win Bake Off? This is clearly going to take ages. But it does remind me of the time Susan and I visited Italy and found out about some other people who were big in the 15th century. I know. Was it one of the Kardashians? Hmm. Once in Italy... There was a family, they ruled Florence, you see, and most of Tuscany. Everywhere in this town, see the name written down, it's Medici. In the streets and the squares, see the name written there, it's Medici. Back in the 15th century, they spent their money on great buildings and art. Who were this family? Well, now just let me see where it starts. First was Giovanni, his bank made them wealthy, the Medici. Cosimo was his son, the police. Wonder Medici Lorenzo Il Magnifico was a poet, though his son became Pope Leo. But poor Alessandro, he got popped off. Oh no, dear Emilio. And their money they used to procure these statues, the Medici. Want some more than this corridor is a private passageway known as Vasari. It let the family move around town freely, the Medici. They marked their territory, coat of arms, you can see the Medici. Yes, it looks pretty flash, those balls symbolise cash. The, the Medici. Medici! Oh, to be in that family, what a life to lead, oh, it must have been peachy. With all that wealth and power, there Quite a shower, the Medici. What a great dynasty with a vast legacy, the Medici. Hello, you promised us a star from the 15th century. And I meant it. Gentlemen, I give you Nicholas Copernicus, the founder of modern astronomy. Did he moonlight in construction? They must be cleaning it. But under all that scaffolding is the most famous stargazer in history. Oh, you mean he studied the stars in the sky like an old-fashioned Professor Brian Cox? Yeah. Did he have his own telly show, Ed? Not really, no. But before Copernicus, most people believed that the Earth was the centre of the universe. <laughs> well, he was wrong there. Centre of the universe is Manchester, thank you very much. We've got Wicked Shops and FC United in Manchester. Greatest team in the history of the National League North, thank you. Anyway. Copernicus discovered that the sun is the centre of the solar system and the planets revolve around... Manchester! No, the sun! 
Had he even been to Manchester? If he had, he would have loved it, especially on a Saturday, it's always kicking Could you out. stop banging on about Manchester, Yonko? <sighs> anyway, I feel all learned now about the stars and stuff. And you know what? Thinking about all that's really made me want to go lav lav. Ooh! What? No, 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 you can't go lav lav on that. They're cleaning it. And I like things to be nice and clean. Reminds me of the Museum of Soap that <laughs> Naomi and I visited here in Poland. Soap! Oh, Chris, don't let me use soap on me. Oh, not soap! <laughs> I really love to clean, I just got a taste for it I feel like I could scrub for all that I'm worth Well, here in Bitgoch, you're in the right place for it The Museum of Soap tells the history of dirt Oh yeah, I am hugely into hygiene And how in the past people kept clean Joshing. I want to clean with you. I really, 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 really like cleaning too. All the scrubbing and the washing. It's like a dream come true. Oh, cos they make soap here. They've been doing it for 200 years. I really, 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 really like cleaning too. I want to clean with you. This primitive loo is a real revelation All that they have done is cut a hole in a chair This medieval bath is no cause for celebration Cos it turns out back then bathing was pretty rare Ooh yeah, laundry, well it wasn't easy Try this mangle, nice and squeezy I don't think we're allowed to use it. I really, 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 really like cleaning too. All the rinsing and the brushing. I want to clean with you. I really, 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 really like cleaning too. And the scouring and the buffing. It's like a dream come true. Oh, keep your clothes pristine with this 50 style washing machine. I really, 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 really like cleaning too. I want to most of history, soap was made from fat. So it's no mystery, people didn't fancy that. To get rid of grime was hard, you see. Back in Roman times, they washed their clothes in We'll wind. leave that there. I really, 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 really like cleaning too. All the dusting and the mopping, I want to clean with you. I really, 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 really like cleaning too. Keep on wiping, never stopping. It's like a dream come true. Oh, you can't clean too much. Keep on polishing till it's squeaky to the touch. I really, 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 really like cleaning too. I want to clean with you. Well, that's it, Dodge. The end of your day in Poland. What was your favourite bit? Hmm. Oh, do you remember that bit when Chris stopped talking? <laughs> no. No, me neither. All right, cheeky. Thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> Only joking, yonks. You two make pretty good tour guides. Well, we've had a fair bit of practice. And to think, that's the end of our journey around Europe. Oh. Oh. I do love working on all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Travelling the world with my CBC mates. It really is the best job ever. Yeah. Shame you haven't got a song about it. The kind of song that One Direction might have done. Mm. Yeah. Funny you should say that. Ooh. Another series in the bag. Once again, we're done and dusted. Only One Direction home. No, personally, I prefer McBusted. You said check out all these great countries. We said travel in the world. Yes, please. And we all agree this is the best job ever. We go everywhere and in any weather. Learning tons of facts makes us all feel clever. One big family is the best job ever. And we've been high and low. And we've been fast and slow. And here we go. 
stuff that's weird and wild Strange events and odd attractions Dressing up along the way I love dressing up Get the most bizarre reactions We've seen things you couldn't even dream Feed them back onto your TV screens And we all agree this is the best job ever Australia and Germany Portugal, Portugal France The Czech Republic Italy Croatia Serbia Denmark and Switzerland Belgium The USA And the Netherlands One, two, one, two, three And we all agree this is the best job ever Got the world's best crew, no doubt whatsoever This really is the best job ever! Oh, no. Going all around Europe seeing fantastic things! Oh, no. Meeting amazing new friends! Oh, no, 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 no. And making loads of happy memories! <laughs> We've loved every single second of it! <laughs> but where next? <laughs> so Keep watching! All over the place! Best job ever! It is the best job ever! Join Yasmin, Johnny and Hacker over on CBBC at nine for some morning fun-filled mayhem. Stay with us on two for the wild and weird next.